Hello and welcome to an episode of Historically Marked. I am Jason in downtown St. Louis, Missouri, and I am at Eternal Flame Plaza just right across from Soldiers Memorial. And behind me is a monument that states that the American Legion, the nation's largest veteran service organization, um, met for the first time right at this spot. I'll go ahead and tell you more about it, visit a couple markers, and I'll tell you the history behind the American Legion. Here we go. And this here is the monument. On May 8th, 9th, and 10th of 1919, a group of veterans met here, forming the American Legion. Of course, there's a lot more detail to that. But first, I'm gonna check out this, the writing inscription on this. In commemoration of the founding of the American Legion in St. Louis, May 1919, born of service and comradeship, and the Great War of 1917-18, devoted to God and country. And that was put here in September 6, 1942. And definitely keep in mind, back then it was called the Great War, not World War I. And then another one was put up in 1969 on May 10th. Liberty is not license. The American Legion Department of Missouri commemorates the 50th anniversary of the founding of the American Legion in St. Louis. And one other thing to keep in mind is I cannot go any closer because it is fenced up, but I'm glad that it is. And up there is where they had the eternal flame. It is not going on, at least I don't see that it is. And then, let me see if I can zoom in real quick. So there lies a little bit of confusion. So where was where the where was the actual site? Was it here in this park, or was it right over there? And I'll show you where it is. It's at the corner of Olive and um, T um, Tucker Boulevard, and that's where I'm going next. But first, I'm going to tell you some history about the American Legion. So the American Legion is a nonprofit organization of U.S. war veterans. It was founded on March 15, 1919, in Paris, France. And this was the first time they met here in the United States just two months later. Well, less than two months later. Their slogan is, Veterans Strengthening Veterans. The American Legion's success depends entirely on active members. The current headquarters is in Indianapolis. So, but it was at the St. Louis meeting in May of that year that the American Legion name and its constitution and bylaws were approved. In fact, it was right at that building I'm about to show you. They met at the spot where this monument is, or at the place where the U.S. Bankham place w is, and it was called the Schubert Jefferson Theater, and it was part of the Union Electric Building, which stood from 1910 until it was torn down in 1976. Over a thousand delegates were here, and they were veterans of the American Exped Expeditionary Force. They have served in the recently ended Great War, and they were largely influenced by the Grand Army of the Republic. That, by the way, was an association for Civil War Union soldiers. And yes, there is a lot of history in, that happened in further years for the American Legion, such as their successful big role in the GI Bill, which happened during World War II, as well as creating the U.S. Veterans Bureau. But I'll probably um, save those topics for another time, as in, for this episode I'm focusing on where the American Legion once met. Here is the back of the monument. And in the background, as I mentioned earlier, is a soldier's memorial. And then behind me is an empty space. And then behind those trees is, it used to be called the Peabody Opera House, but it is now the Stifle Theater. And behind it is the Enterprise Center. So I'm going to go ahead and take you to the spot where the newer plaque is, is at the U.S. Bank building at the corner of Olive and Tucker Boulevard. It's just a couple couple blocks that way, so I'm just going to go ahead and lead you there. All right, so here is the U.S. Bank building, and this is where the plaque is. And this was put up here in 2014, 
where it says the site of the Schubert Theater in the St. Louis Caucus of the American Legion, held here from May 8th through 10th, 1919, to commemorate the founding of the American Legion on this site. Here, where once stood the Schubert Theater, 1,100 World War I veterans, fresh from victory in Europe and dedicated to the memory of those who did not return, completed the task they had begun in Paris in March 1919. Recognizing the historic significance of this site, U.S. Bank and the American Legion have joined together to preserve in the minds of the people the memory of this place and to commend to posterity the service and sacrifice of all American veterans. Done this Veterans Day, November 11, 2009. So because it's a bank, I'm not going to stay here that long because there's apparently a lot of cameras here and I don't want them to be suspicious about me, but um, Mike Helm was here and where I got the 2014 from was from a Facebook post from the American Legion's Facebook page and it might have been 2009, but Mike Helm, who was the American Legion National Commander at the time, helped hang this plaque. But it does commemorate again the St. Louis Caucus from 1919 and then he also uh, Mr. Helm, that is, Commander Helm, he did a speech here focusing on the Legion Constitution, which was adapted at the St. Louis Caucus right here. So, again, this bank just right off of Tucker Boulevard. And now I'm going to take you to the hotel where the Stadler Hotel once stood. So, come with me. All right, so I'm now further into downtown St. Louis, standing in front of the America Center. And in front of me is the Marriott St. Louis Grand Hotel. And this, several years ago, or a century ago, was the Stadler Hotel. And this was where the first American Legion headquarters was in the beginning. Thousands of veterans came here discussing who should be the first officers. But their first choice was Theodore Roosevelt III, who was a war hero, as well as a son of Theodore Roosevelt, who of course was the US president. Not at the time, but earlier in 20th century. But Teddy Roosevelt III would decline numerous times, saying that the Legion was not a political group or organization. And as you can see, the building is still huge as it is today. And it's still a very popular hotel, despite of changing the names. So I hope you learned some history about the American Legion, which again is the United States' largest veteran service organization. There are over 14,000 posts worldwide of the American Legion, including all 50 states, DC or District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, France, Mexico, and the Philippines. So next time you drive by an American Legion or go inside one, not only to remember and thank our veterans for keeping freedom alive, but also, this is where it all started, right here in St. Louis. All right, thanks for watching. I am Jason for Historically March, signing off.